Hello, it's Visitor Julius here. Welcome to a new video. And today's video is gonna be a bit different. It's gonna be just me talking here, and some of the things in this video are not probably that relevant to all of you. But I just need to get this off my chest because uh, it has been bothering me lately. Uh, so the thing that has been bothering me lately um, is about social media. It's about Instagram. It's about how people act on that platform. And I just need to get some things out of my chest. So today I was scrolling through Instagram, and I saw this one. Image. And immediately when I saw this image, I was like, okay, this is clearly Photoshop, but it's a cool image. I thought it was a really, really cool image, but I could see immediately that, okay, this is not that well done. And that is not the thing that bothered me, but what started bothering me is when I opened the comments. And all the comments were like, oh, this is so fake. Oh, this is Photoshop. Oh, this is you fake this image. It's not real. And so on. And that is what started bothering me. So I wrote some words about it to my stories. So the thing that I wrote to my stories was basically about how unnecessary and stupid it is to comment stuff like that to people's photos. And I got a lot of replies to that story. I, I think we are currently at like 200 replies and I'm still replying to everyone. And after this video is filmed, I will continue replying to everyone. But basically it caused a lot of discussion. It caused so much discussion that I started noticing that there are so many different opinions on this subject. From the hundreds of people who replied to my story, I did pick up a couple of different things. First off, I noticed that there are kind of like three different types of people and I'm gonna categorize people now think of these as imaginary groups and uh, the first group that I like picked up from the DMs was the people who enjoy more a realistic side of things people who are more on the photography side and do not really want to add anything into their images or do not want to make their videos super complicated in after effects so just people who enjoy realistic things then there's a the group number two who enjoy more surreal work they may be enjoy more Photoshop composites and super complicated travel videos where there's a lot of transitions and so on. So that's the group number two. And then there's a the group number three, which consists of people who don't care. And what I mean by people who don't care is people who don't really care what the process from zero to the final result is. Only thing that these people care about is how that content they consume makes them feel. And when I put up those stories, I noticed it doesn't matter in which type of imaginary group you belong to, there are still a couple of main problems that cause this whole negativity around Photoshop and editing in general, even nowadays, when it should just be seen as a way to create better images. Because I think Photoshop is just like any other editing tool. It allows you to create content that sets you apart from the similarity that we see nowadays on social media every single day. People are traveling to the same places, taking the same shots in order to get some kind of attraction to their own social media pages. But one of the problems that a lot of people told me about is that they feel like there's a lot of creators who edit their videos, they edit their photos, and they claim everything to be real. They claim that they didn't Photoshop their image at all, when in reality, it's like a whole composited image. And that is a problem. That is what causes this hate around Photoshop and the people who actually create only in Photoshop and their whole brand and everything is about this program, they get a lot of hate too, because there is this negativity around them that it's fake. It's this whole fake thing that people are doing and it annoys, especially the people who like more the realistic type of things. And also these people who like more realistic type of things, they feel like they don't have room in the market with their photos because all of these big pages on Instagram, for example, are nowadays sharing work that is created in Photoshop. But that is the thing about social media in general. What worked five years ago on Instagram doesn't mean that it will work now. So if you are more like a traditional photographer who doesn't want to edit your photos a lot, of course you are gonna have less room in the market because people don't want to see the same stuff over and over again. They want to see something new. And currently the style that people love seeing the most is something that they've not seen before. And that usually requires some kind of Photoshop work, some kind of After Effects work, or any kind of work that just sets you apart from the similarity in social media. But then another problem that a lot of people talk to me about is that the imaginary group number three that consists of people who don't really care what the process from zero to the end result is those people will comment to any kind of content on social media if there's like a cool place they see in a photo they just comment on the photo and they tag their friends and they're like hey let's go here someday this looks like a cool place and if they decide to go to that country someday they will be super sad and miserable of the fact that it's not real and they feel cheated 
right? But this is something that you as a consumer on social media have to be aware of. Some things are fake and you have to always do your own research on places. And this has happened to me once before. I was in Dubai and I thought that when I go there, I'm gonna see a beautiful skyline at the desert road. And here's an image what I'm talking about. It's this desert and there's a huge road in the middle and at the end, every single person photoshops the skyline in. In every single video, you see a skyline behind the desert. It's not real. And I felt kind of cheated, but no one ever told me that it would be fake. No one ever told me it would be real. So I had no idea. I should have done my own research on that place and see for myself, is it there or is it not? But this is just what happens in social media sometimes. Someone starts this trend, for example, this Dubai trend that you always Photoshop the skyline behind the road and then everyone just replicates that. So at some point you have no idea if it is there or if it's not. So this is something that you have to be aware in social media. But yeah, those were just my thoughts on the whole subject because it created a lot of discussion so I wanted to make this video. If there's anything to take out from this video, I think it is that don't be scared to create unique content. Don't be scared to create something that you think people will hate and also just in general, be realistic about your work. Do not try to fake your way to the top that is not gonna get you far. And also always remember that the things that you see in social media do not equal reality. So do your own research and be aware of the fact that the things you are seeing might not be real. And some of the things you see are just supposed to be seen as art and nothing else. But yeah, those were just my thoughts about this whole idea. I felt that I had to get it out my chest. So I just wanted to create this quick video. But yeah, comment down below. What kind of tutorials do you want to see from me next? I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Also something that I've been really excited about lately, let me show you, I'm gonna leave my office quickly, is this, oh, it's windy. But that, there's the sun finally, and it's warm enough to be outside with a t-shirt. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video, bye-bye.